Hi guys. So, two things. One, I cut my bangs again, and two, I'm in the process of dyeing my hair green. So I did a layer last night, I have to go get more gloves, and then I'm going to do it again. I'm probably going to take some black and darken it just so it's a little bit darker of a green because it's a little more pastel than I wanted. But we're in the process, we're getting there. I think for like the first layer, I always do like more than one layer of color just because my hair is so stubborn. So for the first layer, this is actually better than I'm used to. Uh, but we have a pack. Uh, so a couple of years ago, when Bitter Lace Beauty was still on Etsy and didn't have their own official website, I bought one of their Halloween highlighters. This highlighter was called Slay. And then about a year or two after that, I dropped it and broke it. Or no, I didn't drop it. Yes, I did. Oh, well, yes. I think so. And I had to repress it and it's beautiful little color. It doesn't look the same. Now it's still a beautiful highlight. It's absolutely my favorite highlighter of all time. I love it. I think it's the best highlighter ever. And if you get a chance to buy a Bitter Lace Beauty Highlighter, do it. But I noticed that for a limited time, possibly, because she had taken it off her, her store, and then this year it was back up. So before it got taken back down, I bought a new one, as well as a couple of the on-sale highlighters, just to try some of her other ones. And I sent a little card that says, oh darling, thank you ever so much. I'm going to keep that because it's cute. Oh, and a little mermaid sticker. She does have a mermaid highlight palette and little mermaid's holding it. That's super cute. I didn't know she had stickers. And the inside of this box. Oh my gosh. I'm going to keep this. This is like a really pretty box. Like, really pretty. So here are the highlighters. Um, I didn't get them with like the little compacts like I did with that one. So they should just be three. And then I can put them in um, one of my magnetic palettes, which I will grab real quick. I'm gonna put them in this one. It's my newest one. I know it has plenty of room for this because it just has those four shadows in it. If I have to take those four shadows out, I will. It's wrapped very nicely on the front of the box. These will need, like said, fragile handle with care. These are very soft highlighters. They do break really easy, uh, but they're also absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look at the little things. So, four millimeter single highlight pan, pop into any magnetic based compact or palette and it's ready for use. It has this little, oh gosh, so this is Slay, ah! I'm so happy to have a new one, I think this is absolutely beautiful. I love it, and I love the color it makes when you swirl it, and I love the blood splatters, I'm just love this highlighter. I did decide to buy a second one just because one, I'm, I wanted a backup since it's my favorite, but also since that other one broke, I was like really bummed. So I wanted to get another one just that's all pretty and in its perfect little form. And now when that one runs out, I have another one. Cause absolutely, it's my favorite highlighter. It's so pretty. So this next one is called Sugar Plum got like purple, pink, and blue. It's really pretty. I'm gonna swatch all these for you guys. I just, I'm definitely going to uh, put them all in my magnet palette first. And then worry about swatching them. They might not all fit in this, this magnet palette. Um, but also I'm gonna swatch my old one of Slay, not this new one, obviously, because I don't wanna start dipping into it until use that other one. And then the last one I bought is Grey Stuff. So both Sugar Plum and Grey Stuff are on her sale page right now. 
Uh, so they're only five dollars. So Slay is twenty eight, and normally they're around twenty five, twenty eight. But right now there's a bunch of them on sale for five dollars. So if you are able to, I highly recommend getting them because they are some pretty bomb highlight. I really like them. So we'll start with Slay. You can also buy these compacts. She also has, I think, pink ones that you can buy as well. So this is Slay. It's a nice like white with rose gold the color it's like golden slightly pink from the red blood drips it's my favorite i absolutely love this highlighter and the reason i didn't talk about it in my like best one is because actually i don't know i just i really wanted to talk about that fenty one because that's another one of my favorites but also, I really wanted to give Monique Boulay, like, some spotlight time because hardly anyone I know knows about her, and I think more people should. But also, they're like the fucking best highlights in the game. So that's Slay. Then we'll do Sugar Plum, which has this nice, like, rose pattern in it, too. Oh, that's a very pretty purple. So that one's less sparkly and more, like... She does have like multiple different kinds. Some are just more like basic highlights and some are more glittery like Slay. I believe Grey stuff looks to be glittery too. Really pretty. And then we have Grey stuff. Ooh, which is a very nice like gunmetal grey with glitter in it. I'm gonna have to see how that looks on my, on my cheek. Um, I'm going to reorganize over here. Yes, I'm wearing Halloween leggings. It's because they're fuzzy and warm. So I'm going to get a different pair of some of these. I have like a bunch of the same blush and stuff in here because it was a Too Faced one and I didn't have any bigger pans. I think now I'm just gonna keep one of each of these little pans because I don't they each came out to four and I definitely don't need that many of each of these it's like two blushes and a bronzer so I'm just gonna keep one of each I would give some like you guys but one I pressed them really bad and you can like see the towel marks and they're not that great but two I don't have anything to put them in to give them to you guys. Yeah. Just condense it down to three. One of each. I think I'm going to make this little one. This little. Uh, I think. I have to see what glue these in here. Move stuff. So we're gonna put two eyeshadows in here. Maybe one day I'll get good at pressing eyeshadows. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, I guess I wouldn't have room for both of these. I'm just gonna put this third highlight in here. The bronzer will stay in there. Yeah. And then we'll have this little. Two Faced highlighter in there that I still have. Yeah, so that's my stuff from Bitter Lace Beauty. Um, I absolutely love her stuff. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, I'm totally going to keep one of these little things just as a little display on my little display shelf over there. But, um, yeah, hopefully next time you guys see me, my hair will be like full on green and really nice and pretty. And uh, uh yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with this box. I'm going to do something with this box because it's pretty. I put some cards on the outside. It doesn't even look that good. Anyway, whatever time it is, wherever you are, I hope it's great. I hope it's grand. 
and I'll see you guys 